This is Sirach 22 and 17. A heart settled upon the thought of understanding is as a fair plastering on the wall of a gallery. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh, Baasham, Rakah, Kodash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing his word with truth, sincerity with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson, you know, and I want to call it um <clears throat> something to the effect of um um thinking like a soldier and seeing the big picture. Okay. Thinking like a soldier and seeing the big picture. Okay. All right, because, uh, you know, I'm thinking about this particular scripture I just read, you know, I'm also thinking back, you know, um, a certain situation in my life where, um, cause, um, I used to be an artist, you know, um, still am, but I just really don't do it like that anymore. You know, um, I'm mostly involved in this truth. I really don't have too much time for it anymore, but. It's this talent that I still have that I'm still able to harness if it went you know, whenever I want to. But you know, but um, one thing I remember about being an artist is how at certain times you know I'd be making the I'd be drawing a picture, and um, I probably just drew the eye or a nose or or something like that. That's usually where I started. I start anything I'm drawing, I usually start at the face of it. All right. So I start off drawing an eye or a nose or the shape of the head or something like that. And somebody who just uh, walks up, maybe in class or wherever I'm drawing at, they'll look at what I'm drawing and they'll scoff. They'll be like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? And I'm in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck do you think it is? It's just an eye, man. I, I didn't, you know, <laughs> haven't even finished the picture, man. You know, but, um, you know, that's what made me think about this particular scripture because um, it's likened unto wi a wisdom as to looking at a painting, all right? As to looking at a picture, okay? Now, if you're too close to a painting or, yeah, or if you're too close or too far away from a painting, you know, I'm thinking right now mainly too close to a painting, all right? Let's just use that one. If you're too close to a painting, you're not going to understand what you're looking at, all right? You're not going to understand what you're seeing, all right? It's going to look confusing, to say the least, all right? But the further back you look, you know, I mean, the further, the, I mean, the further uh, more you step back and get a look at a page, painting, now you can see the eye, now you can see the nose, now you can see a face, now you can see a landscape. Now you're starting to see other aspects of this particular painting. Okay. And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahasha is doing with his men. He's given us the vision, you know, as the scripture says, where the where there's no vision, the people perish. Alright. So he's given us the vision. He's given us the inside uh, scoop, so to speak. You know, as the scripture says, surely Yahweh Bashim Yahasha will do nothing but revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right. So the majority of the people in this world, Yahweh Shah has them too close to the painting. All right. Too close to the painting to understand exactly what Yahweh Shah is doing. All right. You know, and the further... 
elaborate on the analogy that I'm using. Um, you as the person that is standing back and stepping back that can see the majority of the painting, if not all the painting, you're trying to explain to these other people what you're seeing, but they can't see what you're seeing because they haven't been allowed to take that step back. They haven't been made aware that they're too close to the painting. They just know what they're seeing, which is nothing. Okay. <laughs> so us as, as the ones that are stepping back from the painting that Yahweh Bashimi Shaz reveals his secrets to, all right, who he's given the eye salve, the eyes to see and the ears to hear. We're, you know, we're trying to explain this painting to them and they can't see it. What eye, what nose, what landscape, you know, <laughs> you know, but since we can see, because the scripture talks about them that are blind and cannot see afar off, you know, for the, for the, for us to have this vision, all right, we, we understand certain things. All right, we see certain things, all right, which should lead us to think a certain way, all right, which is uh, a, in a more strategic way, all right? We should be thinking in a more uh, strategic way, okay? We should be thinking like uh, generals and soldiers, you know, we should have a soldier mentality. Scripture uh, says that it's no man that war uh, tangled himself with the affairs of his life, of this life, that he may please him who have called him to be a soldier. All right. Okay. So we've been called to be soldiers. And as, you know, so here it is, you know, <laughs> The, you know, you're the you're the general, you're the soldier, you're the leader. Well, you got to be the man with the vision, because obviously else, obviously nobody else has it, right? You're the one who can see further, right, than anybody else. You're the one who can um, strategize and articulate what's really going on around us. So we have to do that. All right. And eventually more and more people are going to come off that wall and see the picture, the ones that are chosen to do so. All right. You know. So we have to give the layout as well. We have to give the layout of the battlefield. Look, I, I you know, somebody has to pull the map out and lay it on the table for the rest of the soldiers to see where the hell we're going, okay, and what we're doing. And, and that's pretty much our position as men of the Lord. So we have to see the big picture, man. And in seeing the, uh, the big picture, we can see, that's why, that's why we, um, let me get a scripture. Is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right? So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. Right? And strength of salvation. Okay? <clears throat> strength of salvation. <laughs> you know, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, man. So being able to see afar off, man, being able to see what's coming down the road, man. You know, I quoted it before, I quoted it again, where there's no vision, the people perish. You know, there was a time where the prophets were called seers. Seers are visionaries. All right. So, you know, one thing we're supposed to see, especially now, 
Matter of fact, let me get it. Uh, one thing. One thing we're supposed to see now is what exactly how Bashmi Asha is doing right now. Okay, Psalm seventy three. Um, um, right yeah this is Psalm 73 and 12 behold these are the ungodly who prosper in the world they increase in riches right so we're seeing the wicked as the scripture says uh, spreading himself like a green bay, bay tree right we see wickedness flourishing which is very disheartening to a righteous soul or a soul that desires to be righteous all right verily i have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency for all the day long have i been plagued and chastened every morning for if i say i will speak thus behold i should offend against the generation of thy children right so we so when we complain about this ungodly place, we offend against a, that wicked generation of our people, man. They don't want to hear us talking shit about the massa in this kingdom that they love so much. They're God, pretty much, you know. All right, they they come against us for doing that. All right. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, then understood I their end. So now that we have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we can see the end. All right. Um, scriptures talk about um, him that let liveth to see the, uh, the fall of his enemies. Man, that's one thing that the Lord counted to be happy. Man. All right, him that lives to see the fall of his enemies, man. This is a beautiful time, man. All right, so we can see the big picture now that we're stepping back. And we can see what Yahweh Bashmi Shah has proposed upon Babylon the Great and upon the entire world, man. All right, they're going to see Yahweh Bashmi Shah is not just delivering the Israelites, okay? He's delivering creation. <laughs> All right. He's delivering creation. <laughs> Everything down here is under the under uh, the oppression of uh, Esau Edom. All right, creation itself here um, on the planet Earth. All right, which in uh, Hebrew would be Aratza. You know, he he he's he's corrupted this entire Earth, man. And, you know, and then if he could, he'd, he'd corrupt other worlds if the Lord let him. But he set his bounds that he cannot pass. So this is pretty much as far as he goes. But this is something we understand, you know, because we ha have been given the vision. So we understand um, it, uh, let me read it again. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, then understood I their end. So now we understand their end. All right, we've been given that, we've been privy to that inside information and knowledge through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. All right. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou castest them down into destruction. All right. So, uh, so us knowing this and what comes of it, we have a whole nother different outlook to everything that's going on right now, okay? We have a whole nother way of seeing it. Whereas our people who have hope in this place and don't see the big picture, don't have the hope in Yahweh, don't have a hope in the kingdom to come. 
Hell, we even look into, uh, you know, brothers talk about Isaiah 4 and 1 a lot. It's that, it's, you know, I know it may sound redundant, you know, but it's some brothers is looking forward to that, man. Okay. And, um, yeah, you know, you know, we're, we're looking forward to the elect being um, made known. Okay. You know, just like the fake elites, they don't want to be hidden no more. They really don't. They don't want to be exposed either. But they're ready to come out with their agenda. They're ready to come out like the, the, the vampire at the end of the movie when everybody figures out who the damn head vampire is. You know, he went from being this suave guy to this damn monster, and now he's just lashing out on everybody. That's who we're waiting to see, you know. But just like he's ready to, you know, come out. Hey, we're ready to come out, man. We're ready to let everything be revealed. We're ready for Yahweh Shai to be revealed, right? All right. Well, let me read this again. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. So he's in a slippery place, man. And we see him sliding, cascading down the mountain, man. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors. And yeah, man, <laughs> you starting to see that fear on Esau's face because he knows where this is going. And I'm even talking about the average Edomite. You know, the average Edomite was given all kind of bullshit, white supremacy, and you know, all type of shit that um, kept his uh, boat floating, man. Now that motherfucker is has sunk already. This nigga's on a life raft. This nigga is in the middle of the ocean with a vest on, man. All right? <laughs> Barely staying afloat, man. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O oh, Yahweh, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. So Yahweh Shemiah is casting down his image, man. All right? And we can see that that is the beginning of the destruction. So us that can see the seers, the visionaries. We're the ones who can see the blueprint can lay it out on the table. All right. Who can inform those that are to be informed of the layout of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's um, battlefield, his battle plan. All right. His, we can picture his painting. All right, we can tell you what color this is, what color the hair is, the, the nose. We can see these things. So it's on us to uh, be military-minded, you know? Be military-minded, you know? More and more as the days approaching, you know, I'm starting to see the more our, our lives have to be sectioned. All right, if um, if I'm making any sense just by saying that our life has to be organized, everything, you know, you know, yeah, how about Shemir Ashai is making the time short, obviously. If, if you can't see that, you really don't know what the hell's going on. You can't see that Yahweh about Shemir Ashai is uh, speeding up the time. And uh, as the scripture says, it's for the elect's sakes he was showing these days. So by him doing that, you know, our days are getting shorter, our time, the things that we're able to do within a, even just a day is becoming shorter and shorter. So now you're noticing that you have to have more of a military mindset about the things that you do. Everything has to be prioritized, man. All right. When you look at war, everything was prioritized, all right? Everything was rationed in a certain way. Everything had to be calculated. The amount of water, the amount of food that you needed to go here or go there or to go here or to go there, all right? Even sex was, um, was um, 
rationed, man. You know, food was rationed, sex was rationed, um, everything was rationed, everything, time was rationed. And that's the mindset we just gotta have. I know, I know it sucks. It's, you know, we want it. We, you know, that's something. You know, that's why the scriptures talk about the kingdom. It says rest is allowed, man. You know, we're gonna have all the time in the world in the kingdom, man. Right now, not so much. You know, so if we're look, if we're being military minded and we're looking at the battlefield and we're looking at the blueprints and we're taking inventory on. How many men we have, what we're all good at, you know, uh, how much rations we have, how much ammo do we have. We got to calculate all this stuff, man, and really prioritize what the hell we're doing as well, you know. We got to really prioritize what the hell it is we're doing. You know, you know, and um, certain times in your walk is going to require more of you. It's going to cost more of a, require more of a drastic uh, change, man. You know, you're going to have to roll with the punches as they speak, uh, so to speak. You're going to have to think on your feet. That's what a military uh, a military leader has to do, man. All right. The scriptures talk about counting the cost, whether he's ready to meet a man um, um, with uh, 10,000. Matter of fact, let me get it, man. Right. There's a lot of, you know, and that's another thing, man. We got to take inv- inventory. 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 If I'm saying that correct. Uh, uh, right, this is Luke 14 and 28. For which of you intending to build our city is not down first? And counted the cost whether he have sufficient to finish it. Let's happily after he have he after let's happily after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. All that behold it begin to mock him. Right, so <laughs> gotta count the cost, man. Saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to war? against another king sitteth not down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000, right? So yeah, you got to count the cost. You got to take inventory. You got to do all those things, man, because you're the guy that has to make these decisions. You're the guy who can see. You're the guy who's... uh. You know, when command calls, he's calling, they're calling. Your phone's ringing, man. You know, where we're coming in this area where the bomb strike, you know, we're out the bam, you guys need this. You know, this is the area you go. You know, that's why that head guy was so protected, you know. But, yeah, you know, so that's the kind of mindset we got to have, man. All right. If we're seeing the things that Yahweh Bashim is doing as a whole, all right, we're basically standing back and we're seeing the big picture. So we have to think, you know, strategically, you know, seeing the battlefield, seeing how it's laid out, knowing how the enemy's moving, <laughs> you know. Knowing ourselves, what we're capable of. All right. All these things um, come into consideration, you know. But yeah, it's a little lesson I wanted to do. Um, hope I wasn't all over the place. Um, yeah. 
Um, hope there was some edification within this and uh, shalom.